Welcome to part three of our band lab tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how you can work with your students on a collaborative project in a creative way. We're going to move to create a new project. When we open band lab, it asks to create the tracks. So I will create an instrument track first. I will add one or two vocal tracks so that they're ready to use. I will then click on invite in order to copy the link to invite the students to the project or if I have the student email or username I can add the students one by one and invite them to the project. Once we complete this part of the setup we will then move to plug in a microphone if needed, rename the tracks so you can easily identify them by student name or by the part that they're going to sing. So I can click on the three dots, rename. I can name this voice one or add a student name. Under the instrument track, I can rename it. I will be recording some piano chords. And under the second voice, I can name it voice two. These can be uh, student tracks where each student can add their name as they record or it can be labeled in any way that you like so that you can make sure that you can identify what each of the tracks are. Let's go and set up the tempo, the time signature and the key signature so that we can then move to record at least the backing track very simple backing track either with chords and a virtual instrument or by playing the, an instrument in order to record the track. So first we would set our tempo. So I will set it to 70. The time is 4-4 and we are in E minor. We can name the project. The project is Evening Rise. We will be working on Evening Rise. We had um, learned it in the choir rehearsal. Uh, it took us a part of a, a lesson. And then in the second choir rehearsal, we slowly uh, improvised on the chords. And then each student performed a small improvisation and we uh, layered the improvisation. So the idea is that they go into band lab and Form a small improvisation around the chords that Evening Rise is based on. All right, let's move on to open our piano track. I'm going to use the virtual keyboard. So I will click on the uh, instrument track and the keyboard shows up here. I have set it to E, e minor scale so that it's ready for me to play. I can hook up a MIDI keyboard or I can attempt to use the keys of my laptop keyboard in order to add some chords. I can test it out first just to make sure that I have the right tempo. So let's hear it. It sounds fine. I have clicked it so that um, I'm using the metronome. It, there's a one bar count in and I will let it play and let's try it out. All right, so here is my E minor chord. You can see that it's not 100% rhythmically, so I can quantize so that it brings the, the keys. So in this way, I would add the backing track. Okay, so now as a student, when I open up the band lab project, I can see that the piano chords backing track has been recorded. And I can then add my improvisational voice track. 
I would move to an empty track, rename the track with the student name, add my headphones so that I can record while listening to the backing track, have a one bar count in, and begin to record. Okay, you can see now that I have recorded a vocal track above the piano chords. A small tip, it's a good idea to have a four beat um, count uh, of just the held first chord so that the students can find their pitch and then begin. So let's listen to it. La 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 if the student likes it, they can keep it. If they don't like it, they can just click on it and delete and just retake the track. So we're going to keep this, but what we're going to do now is click on it, copy it, and move it over to create one more section. Double click and paste. I can do the same. for the piano part. So here I can see that I have the introduction of the chord at the beginning for the student. So I'm going to cut it and bring the track to the beginning of the first chord. So I've set it in place and at this point I can then save and this is ready now for the next student to record the next vocal track. So our next student would click on an empty track, rename it, click on the four beat count in and prepare to record. All right, so now I have a second track recorded by Edgar, which I which he named Edgar One, and here you can see that uh, he recorded the second time around. So, if we press play here, la, 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 we can hear the second track. We can adjust the volume. I would like to make Edgar louder. So we've got two tracks recorded. The student would then also save. So it's very important to remember to save at the end of the session. Edgar moved on to also record one more track. The track was not uh, added from the beginning. So in order to do that, the student would click add track, voice audio. You can see when the track is added, you can check the input level. My, micro my, my, my microphone is on, so you can see that it's recording here. You can see that it's uh, the level is pretty good and if I have my headphones on and I click the monitoring it means I'll be able to hear my voice in my headphones we also have what we call auto pitch so if a student would like to turn this on they can and adjust slightly the pitch in order to be more precise so we would add Edgar track 2 and press the metronome, click the record button. We now have four voices recorded. If I would like just to hear the last voice, which was Edgar 2, I can mute the other tracks. I'm pressing the M button one by one 
and I have just left the track that was recorded last. I can unmute Edgar one as well. You can mute and unmute in order to hear the different tracks. Students can also do this if they would like to uh, turn off a track and just record with the piano chords. Now that we have uh, four parts recorded, we can listen to the whole thing. La, 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 la. This is just a small example of how we can use the uh, collaborative band lab platform in order to create uh, music together. I do encourage you to give your students the freedom to uh, decide on how they would like to lay down their tracks, uh, what voices they will, they will choose to record. Uh, what instruments they may choose to add to the track, also what part of the project they would like to work on. Remember that we all are talking about inclusion as well. We may have students that are shy and do not sing out in the choir. This may be a way for them to include themselves in the entire project, either by using their, their, their skills in mixing or editing or in singing one of the parts and um, at the same time working together from home, which is also a wonderful way to create music together. Do give them the freedom to decide on what they would like to work on. I had asked them after uh, going um, singing through many of the songs for the project, they really uh, wanted to uh, try to collaborate together and uh, improvise around evening rise so this is also a great way to give the students a voice and to allow them to um, work creatively. Band Lab 4 will be a tutorial based around effects and mixing so this will be the last section in order to work on the final uh, output of, of a small uh, project that you can do online together with your students and then we can also decide on how we would like to share the output with each other. I will include the link to this collaboration. I do invite you and your students to add some tracks and we can then maybe grow this little composition that my students have started into a European collaboration between our partner countries. Don't forget to visit the thread on the forum so that we can communicate with each other during this process. Looking forward to hearing from you and really excited to see what we are going to create together.